another, another step of their progression. Um, they've proven they can win and they can win all over. They've won in, um, you know, Colorado, they've won in Washington now, um, you know, they're, they're winning in lots of different places and that's hard to do in golf. Um, so the progression has been nice. They also battled some COVID stuff a couple of weeks ago with, uh, with some of their teammates. And again, not knowing if we were going to go get on the plane again until the last moment. Um, and then going to Washington where it's a lot different than Pueblo. It's uh, rainy constantly all day, every day. And the weather was really tough um, and they were cold as heck. Um, but those 36 holes they played on Monday were huge because it ended up being the, the winning score um, because the second day did get um, postponed, not due to rain, but due to fog. Um, I think we played one hole and I, and I saw some video because I wasn't there. I was in Pueblo hosting the women's event and they were hitting the ball into just a cloud um, and, and you couldn't see it. So, and, and apparently it didn't break for a few hours and we'll travel, you know, teams had to get home. So um, they're good, man. I love, I love coaching them. They're fun. They're easy. They are, they're here for the right reasons. Um, and they're trying to peak in May and do something really special. Yeah. It was a really good performance from all the guys. Uh, we kind of knew going, none of us had seen the course uh, going there. Um, but we were all looking forward to it. And it was kind of suited our, our game, really, the course. It's actually the um, elevation change goes back to um, very similar to the UK. And with most of the team being from the UK, it kind of felt like we were playing back at home. So it was actually really nice um, uh, to be out there. And weather wasn't amazing, but again, the UK guys were used to it. And it was a shame to see that final round get cancelled. But um, still coming away with a win was a great feeling. And, um, it's going to be interesting. It's actually the uh, coach and a, a couple of players are have played this course um, quite a few times, but it's actually um, mine and a few of the other guys' first time. And I've never played hours on a golf, but I've been told it's hot. It's a long day. Um, so it's going to be, I think it's going to be a shock to the system. I think I might blow the budget on sun cream for sure. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. By the sounds of it, again, suits a lot of our games. Um, it sounds like a fun course to play. Um, so we're all really looking forward to it and just to get competing again. Yeah, no, it's definitely great. It's kind of a, a constant battle. Um, and as much as everyone on the team is so close, it's definitely, there's a huge amount of competition um, for that number one spot. So it's definitely a big push and it just keeps you working. Um, even if you're not at tournaments every day, you're down at the course and you're kind of having little battles with each other, trying to get out on top. So it definitely improves everyone in the squad for sure. Right. Now these these guys we got on this team are proven. They're they they're world class players all over the all over the world. So this doesn't scare them. Um, where we're going is scary. That's you know tough for people to put themselves in positions to get exposed and fail at a high level. And that's where we're trying to go. And whatever happens happens. But you know with Andrew and and Jamie who has come so far in one year, um, really just as a as a COVID freshman, um, Clay. Nathan um, and Matt is emerging as someone. Sam has done a great job this year. Uh, we've got a pretty deep lineup that I can mix in and out, which I have uh, this spring. Uh, and then if something happens, you know, we, we got to have next man up mentality, um, just like Coach Riston and football, they, they have that philosophy. So uh, it's been, it is what it is. You know, when we get on the plane or in the van and it's finally time when we know we're not going to get pulled off or turned around or told we can't go, that's the best part, really. Golf's been the easy part for these guys because um, they can just go out and do what they do. It's the stuff on campus and the testing and all the stuff that all of us are going through that's the stressful part. So golf is just really a friendly, awesome, safe place for them.